Hey, do you want to create these nice looking spin animations for products in Blender? Start by adding your product or object. Press Shift A and also add in a empty. Select the object, go to modifiers and add in an array modifier. Deselect the relative offset and activate the object offset. In there we select the empty we created. Now if we select the empty and rotate it, you can see the product rotates around its center. Let's also up the count. And let's also change the position so it doesn't look so smushed together. Therefore we select the object, press tab to go into edit mode and then we move it up. As you can see all the other objects will also follow. You can even rotate it to make it even more interesting. The reason why we move it in edit mode is because if we go back into object mode and move it now, it doesn't really work the same. Because all the objects will always rotate around the center point. So if we select the object and let's set the origin to the center of the mass, you can see it will rotate around the center point of this object now. So if you want to make changes, always make sure to go into edit mode and then move and rotate it. Now let's go over to the animation. Select the empty and make sure all the rotations are set to zero. If the objects won't align perfectly like mine, you have to press command A and apply all the transforms. Now all the copies should be in the exact same position. Now let's select the empty, press I and set a rotation keyframe. Let's go to frame 80 and rotate the empty around the X axis. You could do this also for another axis. Press I again and set a second rotation keyframe right here. If we play the animation now, it looks kind of boring. Let's fix this. Therefore we have to go into the graph editor. Let's tighten up the space to only see the necessary part right here. Let's open the drop time menu and only select the X rotation. Now we can play around with the handles right here. What you see now here is just a smooth animation. So it starts slow, speeds up and then goes slow again in the end. In our case we want a super fast start and then slow it down only in the end. So therefore we select the handle in the beginning and move it down. So this means the faster this line goes down, the faster the animation is. And the more the line is vertical, the slower the animation gets. So as you can see now, if we move this even more down, we have fast beginning and then it slows down until the end. Just play around with the curve until you find a speed that suits for your project. And after that you are done, just add some nice lighting. In my case I just added a white backdrop and had two lights coming from each side. Added a camera from the straight front and there you go, you have a super sleek and clean animation. If you want to see more product animations, leave a like, subscribe and I see you the next time. Peace out.